Hey y'all, I wanted to pop on real quick today to do a collective haul with you guys. I have goodies from several different stores and let's just jump right in and I'll share with y'all what I found. Um, I did find a few clearance items at Hobby Lobby and this is the first thing that I found are these um, sunflower charms. And I also found some of the Paper Studio twine. So I picked up um, the black and gold and then the black with the multicolor thread. Unfortunately, my store did not have hardly any Tim Holtz stuff left. And I was kind of disappointed, but that's okay. I'm happy with what I got. And I did go ahead and pick up some of these ornaments from My Little Christmas. Um, last year, I was on the hunt for these little pink fuzzy reindeer and could not find them anywhere. So I saw them and I snatched them up because <laughs> I did not want to miss out again this year. And also from my little Christmas, I picked up these little uh, bulbs and these are just so pretty. And I love this chunky glitter that they have on them. Very, very cute. So there's that. And the last two things I picked up from Hobby Lobby were some of the keychains. I have been seeing people um, haul these and I thought they were really cute. I could use my Cricut to alter these or I could just use my, um, you know, scrapbooking stuff to do something fun with these. These weren't on sale, but they're only $2.79 original price for a pack of six. And that was it for Hobby Lobby. And then Dollar General Pop Shelf. I just picked up a couple things. And look how stinking cute she is. These were only $2. And they are super thick, perfect for Pastelloween. And I actually grabbed a few of these because I thought that was just a great deal. And how cute for Happy Mail. So there's that. And then the last thing that I grabbed from the pop shelf is this adorable little ghost. So I really like the traditional orange and black, but then her pumpkin is pink. Like, oh my gosh. Now, um, she was $3 and if they would have had more, I would have definitely picked more of these up, but that was the only one they had. So she had to come home with me for sure. And then I found a set of um, gift bags from Ross, and these were $3.99, and they all have the same little ghosty tag on it, and this one says, hey boo, and the ghost is glitter, and then here is this one, again, with glitter detail, and this one, oh my gosh, I just realized this one's missing an eye, <laughs> that's okay, I I should be able to draw it on with the Sharpie. Anyways, here is the glitter jack-o'-lantern faces. And the last one just says trick or treat. And it's got some ghosties throughout the words. And then the letters are in black glitter. Yeah, I did not realize that little ghostie is missing an eye. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, anyways, that was it from Ross, and I'm telling you, if you guys have a Ross nearby, um, if you have never shopped there, or if you never go down, like, the little crafting section aisle, you guys should check it out, because they have a lot of fun bags, and tissue paper, and wrapping paper, like, all the things. Just a little side note there. All right, then moving on, I picked up a couple things from Walmart, so they had some of these paper um, treat bags. These are 37 cent each, and this one just has a bunch of different little characters on it, and then I picked up two of the pumpkins, and I thought these were adorable, and these are actually pretty good size bags, too, for 37 cent. Then I found this adorable little Halloween garland. There is a skull and two different types of ghosts in it. I'll try to hold that up close so you guys can see the, the, the design right there. Um, I haven't opened this yet, but you can already tell it's just adorable. And it's mixing in some orange with pastel. I really like that. And then I grabbed a bag of these, um, or a pack of these treat bags. These were $1.98 for $12. And just look at those colors in there. Like, this is so fun. So there is that. 
And let's see, I think the rest of the stuff I have is from Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and I'll jump in and show you guys what I found there. I found some of the Crow uh, cutouts. There are 15 pieces in here. And I'm sure you guys um, are probably familiar with these. I'm pretty sure that Target actually started like the little trend with the back cutouts. And Dollar Tree, you know, is just keeping pace, right? So there's the crows, and here are the bats. Again, 15 pieces in here. And for $1.25, I think that's a really good deal. So I grabbed those. And then I found these car window clings. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> but here we are. There's the mummy. And that's what it looks like on the back. And they also had, I guess this is like the Grim Reaper, and it looks like he's like ripping through the window. Pretty cool. And there he is. And let's see, I did pick up some uh, greeting cards, and I'll just flip through those really quick. So I found this vintage pumpkin, and this is a, re a repeat for Dollar Tree. And I found the witch legs and the boot, and it's got the glitter detail on it. And then this one is super cute. I think this one is new. And it just says, Happy Halloween with your broom, the bats, the moon, and then the little witch hat. Um, this one is really cute. It says, Cats on the prowl, bats on the wing, warm candle glow on everything. And look how stinking cute. You got your little critters there walking um, in front of the moon. <laughs> I thought that one was really fun. And then this one is another set of witch legs with the jack-o'-lantern, and it does have glitter detail. It says, Happy Halloween. And the last one is this cute one with the little owl setting up on the pumpkin. I thought it was really cute, too. So there are my greeting cards. And I was able to find one of the Pick Your Poison. I have been on the hunt for these. I think these are absolutely adorable. And I think it's going to be so stinking cute. Like, this would even be cute just as, like, a bathroom decoration, you know, because of the medicine cabinet and things like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I thought it was really cute. So, I finally found one. So, there's that. And then I just picked up this, um, this skull. And he has a little bit of iridescence to him. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So, there he is. And then I picked up a foot. I don't know, <laughs> just random. I mean, the Dollar Tree always has these hard plastic hands, but this is the first year that I've seen the foot and it has the ankle attached. So yeah, there's that. And I found um, this adorable little ghosty pail. Y'all, I am obsessed with pumpkins and ghosties. I have no idea why, but I am. And this is the only one I saw. And this was just like setting up on a top shelf by itself. <clears throat> so, of course, I had to grab it. But I think they are just stinking adorable. And then the last Halloween thing that I um, picked up is this huge black skull tray like he is just really cool so that is that and then i did pick up a few um new stamps um my friend rosita actually sent me a tiktok and turned me on to these new stamps and i have been on the hunt for these and y'all i finally found them so here's the first one this one has the bees and the flowers and then the dragonfly one with some sentiments and also some flowers. And this one has different sentiments and three different types of flowers. And then here is this one. So you're getting some background pieces and then a um, little floral detail. So I thought those were fun. And then the last one was this one that has your calendars on it. The days of the week. This totally gives me Tim Holtz vibes. And hey, only for $1.25. And I found the uh, glue gun pads. And I was excited for this. And I picked one up, of course, in pink. And I also found the Dollar Tree uh, dupe uh, for the viral Amazon headband. 
I'm sure you guys have probably <laughs> seen these everywhere. I have been on the hunt for these and was not able to find them, but I hit the jackpot. I found the white ones, the pink, and the black, so I went with white. And then I also picked up a couple bags of this mint green uh, decorative shred. I don't think I've seen this color before. And I thought this would be perfect for pastel Halloween and also any pastel Christmas. So there's that. And of course I, you know, always use these little um, kitchen bags and I was getting low. So I grabbed one of those. And then the last thing I picked up was a couple boxes of these two and a half gallon zipper storage bags. And I didn't even know that two and a half gallon bags existed until back to school time. Um, me and my husband actually did some back to school shopping uh, for a local church. They always do a back to school drive every year to help needy kids in our county. And this was one of the items on the list. And I'm like, two and a half a gallon? Well, yes, y'all, they do exist, and yes, the Dollar Tree has them. Um, you get six for a dollar twenty-five, and we are getting ready to go on vacation Saturday. And I thought these would be perfect to put my shoes in, and that way, um, you know, protecting my suitcase, I'm protecting my clothes from getting dirty and all of that stuff. And you could even use these in your craft room for like paper storage, paper pad storage, like anything really. And I did open a box of these, and they're actually really good quality for a dollar twenty-five cent. So yeah, just a little, uh, I guess, a couple little things you you know might could use these for if you're interested. But yeah, I think these are pretty cool. And now that I know that they're there, I definitely will be buying more of these in the future for sure. So that is it, you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope to be back next week, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Bye, friends.